So how long have you been in the music business? Well, two years now, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, I've been in music all of my life. Uh, growing up in church, my mother is a singer, uh, singing in the choir at school. So music has always been a huge part of my life. But how long have I officially been Alexia Simone? I'd say about two years. And if you could describe Alexia Simone, people may know, who is she? Alexia Simone is whoever she feels like being that day, <laughs> uh, which, you know, being honest with myself, uh, taking accountability for myself. Um, but Alexia is, like I said, a singer. She's a songwriter. She loves R&B, but she loves elements of hip hop, too. Um, that's super duper essential and important to get back to the essence. So that's Alexia Simone. Perfect. And I heard a little bit of your sound today, but how would you describe your sound? Is it like R&B? Do you dabble in neo-soul? What is? What mm. do you define yourself? I would say I'm more R&B than anything. I haven't gotten into the neo-soul per se. Um, but yeah, R&B is a good lane, I would say. Yeah. Perfect. And I do want to ask a question. How, what have made you want to make that step into the music business? Like, what made you want to leap into it? Yeah, I was writing songs with my sisters super young, super young, actually. Um, we had a, a recording tape that we made for the record labels and everything. They never made it in the mail, but it's always been something that's um, been in my head. It just seemed a little more um, tangible. As I got older, as I got through college, it, it never went away. The feeling never went away. So I got the resources. I have a city of people who, you know, do the same thing. I'm like, yeah, why don't I take a crack? <laughs> So you talk about the songs you performed today. Mm -hmm. They seem very personal. Some mm -hmm. of them actually felt like affirmations. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the what was the inspiration about the songs and what songs did you perform today? Mm -hmm. So I performed songs from my EP, A Beam of Black Light, um, all produced by Cutta. Um, yes, all of those songs were super duper personal. I think Affirmative also and A Beam of Black Light, for example, just talking about black excellence and being comfortable in the skin that you're in and what that may embody. That can be your hair, that can be a swag, the way you walk and the way you carry yourself. So definitely affirmative in a lot of ways and also affirmative in a sense of not letting anybody walk all over you. So no, two in the morning, we're not, we're not doing this anymore. You know, that's another name of the song, two in of my songs two in the morning um and yeah standing up for yourself in that way like giving things a chance but if it doesn't work it doesn't work and i don't necessarily have time to keep it going uh so there's that do you wanna um and also can't be friends uh which is a really popular one among my peers so. perfect and you say your ep just dropped when did it drop it dropped in march um i dropped the original version in december of last year dropped a deluxe version in march of this past year so yes it's been making its rounds throughout the city and i'm really really excited about it really excited about uh, working with Cutta. He is just super soulful, so talented, and yeah, I'm really excited that he kind of opened up his vault to me, and we got to make magic like this. It made me super happy. And how long have you guys been working together so far? I would say two years. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of like your right hand. Yes, in a way, yes. Um, but Cuddle works with a lot of people, too. Again, he's well known in the city just for his artistry, uh, his production, his videography also. Um, so it was really cool to connect with him on music overall, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So now we're going to move into the sessions section of this interview. Okay. So how did you find out about Sessions of St. Louis? I have followed St. Louis Graham, St. Louis Bucket List for a minute now. It took over St. Louis um, when they emerged. And yeah, so I've been following the page for a while, saw a number of the sessions. But yeah, I, I would have never thought that I would have been invited to do one. Everybody watches Tiny Desk, very reminiscent. So for St. Louis to have their own, I think that's super tight. So what was your reaction when you saw it on your Instagram page? And when, what was your reaction when you got invited to come? Okay, when I saw it on my page, Kim Folk and them was the like inaugural episode. And those are my guys. You have no idea. That's how I met Cutta. Um, so I was super excited for them to see all of the guys doing what they love so passionately, you know. Um, and when I was asked to do one, I'll be honest, I was super surprised. I've had... Um, an, just an interesting year full of opportunities, being able to perform a lot of different places. So to kind of like cherry on top the year with a session of my own, I'm just super grateful. Good way to end out the year. Yeah, Tell yeah. Love it. All right, so I have just a couple more questions. Okay. Uh, you recently performed at the Armory mm -hmm. and you recently performed at Dark, Dark Room. Mm -hmm. How does that compare to this intimate setting? Mm -hmm. um, I think I can kind of let go, be free. I know on stage, 
those are kind of a few of my first big performances. The Dark Room was my first um, headlining performance that I did. And I had a really cool turnout. I've gotten a lot of great feedback. So that was awesome to be around like family and friends of people who support me. The Armory was a huge stage. So even seeing my name on the screen, that was insane. But the anxiety I felt just being on a larger stage in that way. So yeah, such as the St. Louis just provides me an a intimate setting, an opportunity to kind of, you know, be raw. Um, yeah allow Cutter to kind of do his thing. I love like the more intimate feeling of it for sure. It sounds like you feel more comfortable. Yes, very much so uncomfortable. <laughs> but I'm getting better, I'm getting better. Master Camp helped with that. Perfect. And how long have you been affiliated with Master Camp? So I participated in Master Camp over the summer uh, in September, which uh, led to a performance that we all were able to do uh, during music at the intersection on the Master Camp stage. So that kind of, that opened a lot of doors for me, I will say, um, and also helped with my confidence. The camp overall helped with my confidence. But again, uh, the opportunity to learn and grow around my peers and also, you know, show what I've learned in front of my peers. Also, it kind of adds fuel to what I got going on. So, yeah. I have two more questions. Okay. So do you think this platform will help amplify or magnify local artists who may be searching for something to, you know, get them an underground artist, get more exposure? Mm, absolutely. St. Louis Graham, St. Louis Bucket List has a pretty huge following ranging from all different regions, cities, states around the country. So I think it's a really cool opportunity for artists to put their music out there um, and, yeah, be discovered by some people who've never seen it before. Perfect. Excellent question. Just to make sure I have it. Mm -hmm. um, what was your reaction when you saw St. Louis sessions of St. Louis come down your Instagram page, mm -hmm. and what was your reaction when you got invited on? Yes, my reaction when it hit the timeline. Extremely excited. I love Kent Folk and them, and they were the inaugural artists uh, to participate in Sessions of St. Louis. So that made me really happy to see how they had grown um, from doing shows and jam sessions at the Blue Strawberry to now this platform um, and all these eyes on them. So it made me happy. How did I feel when I was excited? I could not have imagined uh, that my year, my year would end this way. Um, had a lot of different performances uh, come down the pike. So uh, to be able to, again, have so many eyes on me in this way and uh, the music that I'm making, it makes me really happy. I'm really humbled.